Perfect. Hello, I'm Daria from Sales Screen IO, and today we have amazing guest, CEO of uh, Zone Guru, uh, John. And I guess it's a great uh, chance for us to get uh, more insights on uh, different markets, not only US, UK, but Elsa, India, Australia, and uh, Europe. Uh, I actually today I signed up uh, for the Zone Guru and I was uh, actually surprised how good is that because there are so many metrics. Its interface is really nice. It has a lot of filters. Uh, the, the, the whole process is quite nice. It uh, takes you from their uh, training and shows you like each each of the step uh, you need to do in the product and also the logically it's. Uh, made very well for beginners and also uh, existing sellers. So uh, my question is, uh, you have that kind of metric in Zanguru, which calls uh, budget estimation. Uh, so from your perspective, as you are in different uh, regions, how do you see it? Like what average budget needed uh, for US customers, like compare, for example, other markets like India, uh, Australia, and, and uh, etc.? <laughs> Yeah, ni- nice to meet you, Daria, and, and good to be on. So the the metric that you're talking about, uh, the budget metric, uh, I think that's, uh, well, it's part of the niche rating score. Um, so we have a, a niche rating score uh, in, a, in a number of different tools, which is really there to help you understand from a business perspective, whether a niche has got an opportunity to go in and, and you can launch a product. And so we answer some key questions there. You know, it breaks down to really, you know, how much demand is there? Um, you know, how much competition is there, how much profitability uh, is there to make? And then importantly, what's your what's your launch budget or how much capital do you need to be able to launch a product? And that's the one that you're talking about, which is on the budget side. What I would say is globally, um, you know, it 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 differs depending on on what uh, niche you're looking at and what marketplace you're looking at. Um, you know, if the, the way we calculate it is based on the sales velocity of page one uh, and stock for 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 three months, right? Because our belief is if you're launching a product, you need to go in confidently. You need to get enough stock to cover you for at least three months so you, so you hopefully don't stock out. Um, and you want to be able to get yourself into a position to sell at the average of page one, um, you know, for, for the specific main buyer keyword, right? So, um, you know, that's how we calculate it. Uh, and I would just say that... Um, you know, it, it's it's a guideline that you can use. Um, certainly, you, you can look at products. You know that, that need ten thousand dollars to start, uh, and you you can look at products that need uh, one hundred and fifty thousand dollars to start, right? So uh, and more, right? So it just depends on what your propensity is uh, for for investment into the niche that you're going for. And I can tell you, there's definitely still opportunities on the lower end. Uh, it's much more niche, but you know the ten to twenty to thirty thousand, and then for sure, there's some on on the high end. Got it, got it, got it. But uh, basically, mm, what do you think of, for example, U.S. market? Like, uh, like to, to be honest, we also sell in, in the U.S. And for us, usually it's very hard to launch any new product without a budget of thirty to 50000 to be honest. But I know that some people are managed to do it like with less money. Uh, and uh, compared, like, for example, in the UAE, what we do, it's actually lots of people starting, still starting the 1000 because it's different kind of uh, market, different kind of uh, thing. But my question is, like, when you see their market grow velocity, which countries you see, like, and say, oh, this is really excited, exciting opportunity. Like, what countries you think you wanna get, and which can become potentially the second US? That that's the that's that's the exciting part about uh, Amazon, and the exciting part about <clears throat> the the industry as a whole, right? Is uh, you know, if you look back in you know 2015 uh, on on Amazon US, you know, there were there were products that I was looking at selling then that were twenty thousand dollars in 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 capital investments that could potentially get you you know one hundred and fifty thousand a month in in sales uh, and that same product today in twenty twenty four you know you, you have to spend three hundred thousand just to get the capital to to you know compete on page one and that product is doing a million and a half in revenue a month, right? So there's massive velocity growth that's happened over the US over time. 
And of course, it's much more competitive now. But what's really exciting about it is all the new markets that Amazon is releasing, um, there, there's th that potential is going to be there in, in five to six years, right? One of the best things that Amazon does is they know when they go into a marketplace, they know how to create a distribution channel using Amazon Prime and they 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 invest in in the warehousing and distribution network and and so with all of that power that they bring to that marketplace um it, it very quickly becomes the number one consumer e-commerce marketplace and the growth is absolutely phenomenal so you know to answer your question the 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 markets that are exciting are all the new markets right so australia has been one that we've looked at very closely for a long time and We've we've encouraged and got uh, some of our customers to sell their products on Amazon Australia in some of the bigger categories, and you know they have five, six, ten x their business in in a year, and it's still got another twenty x to go, right? So, um, what's 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 great about new markets is you can get into bigger categories with less competition, with less capital, but that's going to become a really big category in the next three to four years. So, if you have a longer term view look of some of the new markets you really are going to, your growth potential is huge. So Australia, India, uh, India, although there's, there's other competing e-commerce platforms, but India certainly, um, you know, uh, you know, any of the, the new European uh, marketplaces, Saudi Arabia, all of these ones are, are you know, UAE, these are all great markets um, that are going to be, you know, you just have to see what's happening in the US and that's going to happen uh, in those marketplaces for sure. Wow, that's great. Um, and um, about their profit for those markets, basically, uh, how do you see the profit? Of course, I guess it's like the high competition, they're uh, le le less profit, you know, like uh, you can generate. But uh, like typically, uh, what do you see in terms of that? Um, and how long time it takes for companies to get profitable on average in different regions? <laughs> Yeah, look, you know, your, your profitability is based on uh, and your margin is based on a number of things. Competition, because obviously the more competitive it is, the, the lower prices are. Um, it's also based on the niche that you're in, the product you sell, you know, how much velocity there is in terms of sales, um, you know, and what price point you can charge. Clearly, if you have a, you know, if you, if you have a lower priced item that still has the margin in it, you have to sell a lot more of those units to actually make enough money, right? So um, when you're looking at a profitability, you have to look across all of those areas. And that's why we have that in the niche rating metric, which is based on sales velocity, surge volume, price points, and the margin you can make on it, right? So um, certainly if you're saying in the US, you know, it's the niche within a niche, right? So, um, you know, I would be looking at higher priced items, lower sales volume, but but it's something that I can really make some good margin on and still have the ability to compete on on PPC. Um, you know, in other markets you can you can probably look at slightly lower price items. But typically, you know, as a as a kind of stick in the sand, I would say anything right now on the US market that sells for uh, you know, less than $30 is probably something I would avoid because there's just not enough margin in that. You know, you're giving 30% to Amazon uh, you, you know, 30% to your supply and you have 30% left of which you, need, you still need to run your PPC. So, um, you know, the, there's not much margin in, in or, or dollars left over in a $30 product, right? So you need to look beyond that. Other markets, you you, you might be able to look a little bit lower. Um, and certainly on the US, you know, the, the, the general, um, you know, the general rule of thumb is that you, you you're not going to make any profits and maybe even a potentially, you know, not even break even on your first stock order is really that's what you're using to to kind of, you know, get a foothold in the marketplace, lower your price, better conversion rates, sell your stock in, spike the algorithm, uh, and then and then it's once you have your foothold, it's your second and third orders that you're going to start to make profit. So you know, I wouldn't expect to, you know, I would say especially in the in the US and in competitive marketplaces you know you you're not really going to break even for your first six months i would say you know it's it's kind of beyond that you know this is not something where you're going to you know you, you're going to be making a lot of money but you're also paying a lot out and and you know um, trying to get a foothold and build your capital invest in your stock you know um you know so pretty much i would say for the first year 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 and a half if you've done a good job with your business i wouldn't be expecting to pull any funds out of that you're just really growing your your 
piece of landscape in that marketplace, right? But then it's beyond that that you really start to um, you know reap the benefits. Yep, yep, I totally agree. Uh, they, they, they see it kind of the same. Um, and uh, like um, on on you mentioned that you that PPC is growing, uh, especially in the developed market. Uh, so what is the share of uh, like advertisement uh, spending uh, usually uh, exist for US and which countries that kind of uh, that, 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 that that kind of pricing is not got to that crazy level yet. Um, it, it, of course, I know it's all depends on categories uh, because here in your emails, I can see like uh, electronic category, which uh, uh, their budgets are quite the same as US. Not, not the same, but you know, like the, the, the PPC price is quite high. Uh, and uh, of course, there are categories where like very uh, low, uh, like, a n- number of sales. So actually, Amazon itself they uh, motivate sellers to 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 just you know like sell in those categories and even uh like do one p model to just to 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 build this category to provide some kind of products there. So uh, what is your insights on that? Like um on 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 on, on and what do you think is average normal uh in terms of share of the advertisement ex- expenses? Yeah, it's it's a it's a good question, and obviously it's you know there's there's a big range there because it is category and marketplace specific. I think to your point, uh, you know the the new markets that that you sell in, uh, you know Amazon is going to be much more helpful to you um, because they want just product to be able to sell, you know, and have stock in different categories. So you know it's it's quite nice to being in in other markets, smaller marketplaces. Like Australia, et cetera, because you get a lot more help from Amazon, uh, and and that is both in your organic rank and your PPC and and you know cost per click, et cetera. In the US, it's the opposite, right? It's it's they, they don't they don't really care about you because they have so many products to really sell in every single category. It's just more if you can if you can uh, you know get some recognition from Amazon that you have something different that that other product and they obviously want to support that so um you know amazon the us for sure is pay to play you know that they, they, they've realized eventually that that they're going to make a lot of money out of sellers by um you know selling real estate on the search results page and there's many different positions and types of ads that you can participate in and unfortunately you have to participate in that to really not only get sales for ppc but to help your organic rank there's a massive tie in between ppc and your organic ranking so um you know an a cost can range anywhere from uh, 20 you know f- i've seen something like 40 50 percent all the way down to to five percent right so your, your your cost is is across the board um i would i would say that you know sellers should really look at their tacos total advertising cost of sales to really understand the impact that it's having on their profits um and a you, you know it's really category specific and um you know, understanding what your conversion rate is for your products and, um, you know, looking at your ACOS and, and being okay to push your ACOS high on your higher converting terms uh, is important. So it's not really about keeping your ACOS down. It's about understanding which ones, are, which, what keywords are your, your best converting um, and, and ensure and, and what, ra- what organic rank do you have for those, th- those keywords and then you know using your ACOS to drive sales, search volume, uh, but also you know having a higher ACOS to keep your conversion rate up, so that you can get better organic rank. So um, you you really got to look at your category and understand you know what is your conversion rate uh, and your your general ACOS, and then um, manage by your tacos if if you're looking at profitability. Uh, great, 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 a really, a really great response um and do you have like uh like some kind of uh, ppc tools in in zone guru uh we don't so we don't we don't have a, an automated ppc software uh, we do have uh, ppc reporting so understanding oh. organic versus um you know paid sales broken down by mobile desktop uh you know a class tacos we we do have that level of, re- of reporting uh and we do have um average uh, ppc bid by keyword um, so we have some reporting, but we don't have an automated tool. Okay. Okay. Great. Great. Uh, 
So we have a lot of audience from India uh, and Pakistan, actually. So uh, on Indian market, uh, where is your insights? How, how how do you see growth potential and what is the challenges uh, within this market? Yes, yeah, so, you know, we, we we've we've integrated with India and and we've we've done some work, um, you know, getting customers uh, based in India. We, we we are excited by the market. Um, I think it does have its challenges because there are other e-commerce platforms that is competing with. You know, it's one of those. It's not like, uh, you know, th- th- there's other marketplaces that that customers are, are serving on. But I do have a lot of belief in in Amazon, and I think they've made a lot of good inroads already. Um, you know what we're seeing in terms of products are are, are generally um you know day-to-day products that that need to be purchased it's not necessarily highly differentiated um uh you know giftable type of products yet i think that's much further down the road that is what you know on on amazon us it's it's fmcg products but it's also you know giftable you know any kind of product and i think uh you know amazon india still needs to go in that direction but at a base level you've got you know such a a, a large pool of people um with a platform that's that you know has shown a shown historically that they're that amazing at distribution and getting uh that platform to become a day-to-day consumer purchase uh, event um so i think there's there's massive growth uh, ahead for for the indian marketplace and certainly um you know finding the right niche on that uh you know in, in three to four years is going to be uh, huge for whichever seller gets on there right so yeah huge potential you know obviously just the size of the marketplace it's crazy wow that's interesting um and uh, i have two last questions uh both of them is actually on uh your product uh which i find very interesting um the one is I see you have very unique, uh, unique kind of enterprise features, which is uh, monitoring of IPs. Uh, can you please just elaborate on this a bit? Just like how you indicate those criteria for like probably any any kind of you know like breach of the IP. <laughs> oh, it's it's the uh, IP monitoring tool. Uh, yes. So it, it basically, we, we have a tool that will check uh, if anybody uses your titles, bullets, descriptions, or images across marketplaces, and we'll, we'll um, alert you. Um, it's a proprietary tool that we built. So specifically for those brands that sell in retail, they want to protect their brands on e-commerce, uh, IP Monitor is a, a good tool to use. Uh, okay. And um about their ai i can see uh, like on your main page that is like uh a listing optimization kind of uh kind of uh important and big uh for you how do you feel uh, uh like the future uh yeah, of, of 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 that kind of tools because honestly everyone now providing this so how you do you think the future, uh, why do you think it's important and how do you see it currently? Is it really help sellers to uh, save uh, like on, on pro- content production? Yeah, so uh, we were the world's first uh, Amazon software company to integrate with ChatGPT uh, back in January of, of 2023. Um, you know, so we've been leading in the space in, in that. I think from our perspective, uh, we see a, a huge opportunity to, um, you know, optimize your content in the right way for Amazon in in an incredibly short amount of time. So uh, something that used to take an hour to two hours to do, you can literally get that baseline in about a minute, um, which, you know, allows, you know, agencies, brand owners to free up their time to really focus on, uh, you know, their creativity and expertise and bringing that to their listings to help with conversion, et cetera. So, you know what AI does really well is that it, 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 especially in our case, is it, it helps you to understand what to optimize for, and it writes the listing in in the right way to match what the algorithm is looking for, and it will show you how you compare to your major competitors. So, you know, we see really good results with it. I think right now it's about a thirty percent increase in optimization uh, score over over any other listing on page one, and about a twenty three percent increase in existing sales uh across our customer base that use our ai tool on existing listings so um you know the future is, is really uh there's a, there's an amazing uh you know all, all boats are going to rise you know everyone's going to be using ai to help write content in the right way um but the, the the opportunity 
uh, is to understand, you know, the context of your listing versus your competitors, which is on Guru does. We show you competitor listings where they're strong and weak. So you can understand what you can do better um, and, and focus on, on bringing your, your human expertise and knowledge to your listings, which is, which is an important piece. So um, yeah, it's a very exciting, uh, you know, uh, world that we're in right now in the e-commerce uh, world. That's the really true. And, uh, and on that note, um, I wanted to say thank you for the uh, insights that you bring uh, to, 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 to this podcast. And um uh, I suggest you guys to check Zonguru because I really saw so many software uh, in my life, but uh, Zonguru uh, deserves to, 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 to be checked. And um, John, thank you very much for your time. Um, I hope uh, this video was helpful and uh, um, it, 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 it helps to understand the global uh, e-commerce landscape. Um, thank you and uh, have a great sales.